What you're seeking is a blessing from God. You must expect a miracle. You have the power of choice. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to Life Today Live. Good to have you guys here today. And you know, we, we cover a pretty wide range of things related to Christian living on the program. And and one of my favorites uh, is is movies and media and TV, because that's what, that's what I do. Um, so today, there's a movie coming out that I want you guys to know about, uh, and it's it's hitting on President's Day, appropriately, February 21st, and it's called Washington's Armor. It's uh, it's about George Washington and probably some things that, if you went to public school like I did, they didn't teach you about George Washington necessarily in school, uh, but you will learn through this film. And so there's some exciting things around this film and around the, the filmmakers and just Christian movies in general. Uh, and so we're going to dive into some of those. I have the producer director of Washington's Armor with me. Her name is Tammy Lane, and she's done some very interesting things that uh, I'm excited for you to get to know about a little bit. Um, but to kind of set this up, uh, you know, easiest thing to do is to show you the trailer. Again, this is Washington's Armor, uh, and it comes out on February 21st. We'll tell you in a bit how you can see it. Check this out, and we'll be right back with Tammy Lane. Where, madam, do you get your facts? It is in your journal, sir. It is all in your journal. Some would have you to believe today that all of this is the work of chance and not that of divine providence. Good morning, Major Washington. His Lordship said that you are to insist that the governor send you with a letter addressing Mr. Christopher Guest. They butchered him in front of his wife and children so that no provincial nor Indian, not loyal to the French, would dare venture to go where you and the governor to have us go. Many in the House believe your trip to the French Commandant to be theatrics, to induce public sentiment both here and abroad for war. How, George, do you respond to this indictment that some would say to be unreasonable reasoning in the age of reason, sir? Be the better consequence if the boy dies in the wilderness. He led us into Ottawa territory. That Indian will find his brothers and they will hunt us down. He eats. Think like a boy. What is your name, madam? To you, my dear boy, I am simply Sally. Say your goodbyes, Major. Said nay, Mr. Gist. We are not only emissaries of the crown, but ambassadors of the divine. We shall cross, and without delay. That is Washington's Armor, a film that uh, opens up on February 21st. We'll tell you how you can see it. And I'm excited to have the producer and director of that film and lots of other things we'll talk about with me today. Her name is Tammy Lane. Tammy, thank you for coming on Life Today Live. Well, thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. All right. So let's talk a, bit, a little bit about Washington's Armor. Um, I understand that this is based on a very interesting work by someone else we know. Uh, how did you come about making this movie? Well, about 17 years ago, I read a book called The Bulletproof George Washington. I have it right here. <laughs> so, book right here um, by David Barton. And I read that book and then I realized I had never been taught in history, in history class, in school, this story. And it's a wonderful story. And it really... Um, it's, it's awesome because it shows God's providence over George Washington's life. It shows his younger years. This is like 20 years prior to the Revolutionary War. So this is him kind of, you know, getting started. And, you know, it's a real character building time of his life where he's learning a lot and experiencing life. His first, it depicts his first military commission. And um, it's just an amazing story. So then I I really just wanted, that's what God used to drop into my spirit that this, I thought this film needed to be made. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was going to be the one to make it, but <laughs> I well, didn't need to be made. <laughs> well, so yeah, I mean, how do you even go about doing that? Because uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's not an easy process. People take it for granted. We sit down, we turn something on, we're entertained, we walk away. There's a lot that goes into making a film, uh, especially when you don't have 
you know, some large studio or streaming site behind you. How did you, how did you manage to pull this off? You're not kidding me. It was <laughs> a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But it's so funny because I thought, I don't know why I even thought this. I hadn't done any type of filming back then. I'd done some live stuff, but I, I thought I needed an entertainment attorney. And what made me think that? I don't know, but I just thought this is what I need to do. I need to go get me an inter- entertainment attorney to help me figure this out. <laughs> so I went and found one and he said, so you're wanting to make a movie and do you have any money? And I said, no, I don't have any money. <laughs> he said, uh, do you have any experience? Have you made a film before? No, I, I have not. Um, and he said, well, then you're not going to be able to make a movie. Yeah. And I said, but God said that I could make a movie because by this time, <laughs> I knew what the Lord wanted. And Wait, okay, I have to ask, was this entertainment attorney a, a Christian or not? I don't think he was. Okay, because you, you got to, first of all, just from a practical standpoint, no experience and no money is a recipe for disaster. Uh, and to someone who is not a Christian, even to someone who's a Christian, you know, if you walk in and say, well, I, I don't know how to do this, I don't have the money to do it, but God told me to do it, I'm, I'm kind of already <laughs> going, I don't know about this, but... I mean, here you are. You, you you did it. The movie drops later this month. Uh, it's it's done. It's one of a trilogy. How did how did you get? Where did you go from there? Well, I, I you know I thought I think I became a little bit discouraged, but you know I thought, well, if the Lord wants me to do it, then I will. I'll do it, you know, in his timing and whenever he wants me to. So I just, I held it in my heart. He's given me three. There's three different films that I feel like the Lord wants me to do. So after Washington Timer, we'll talk about the next ones. But um, I just, you know, went, went about my business and running Capernaum Studios. And, um, and, you know, God used that time in between to teach me. I had, I had character building to go through and, I had to learn how to direct and produce and um, what all it took and, you know, just just a lot. Well, okay, and I think that's important to say and for people to hear because when, sometimes when God gives you a vision, you know, you don't just, God, if you're, if you're supposed to float on the waters, you might have to build the ark first. And for <laughs> you, it meant doing just that. You didn't have any experience, so it meant, okay, go get some experience. Uh, what all did that look like? Well, in the meantime, I developed three live productions at Capernaum. They're outdoor live, um, large scale productions. So in, in, I learned how to produce and direct, um, because I directed them. I wrote the scripts. And so God really just, um, taught me through that. And then we, um, just, oh, and we did some short films. And so that really taught me the film side of it and kind of the difference in that. But still, even with all that, it, you know, <laughs> that I've done, once I got to Washington's Armor, I was like, oh, this is a lot harder than, <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. But so, it, let me, so let me ask about that, because um, I hear you. I totally hear you. Um, and just again, so people know, because people feel like God wants them to do stuff and they feel like it just it's it's a free ticket to success. Did you have any failures in that any of those processes of short film or live productions, did you learn through any of your failures as much as just as the success of actually doing those things? Oh my goodness. Did I ever, (laughs) um, I read a book called failing forward Mm. by Ron Maxwell. So if that tells you anything, (laughs) that, that book like saved my life at one point, but yes, I, you know, trying to do, something that is so, you know, grandiose, so big, you know, you think, oh, this can be fun. And this is awesome. And God's giving me this vision and I'm so excited about it. And so it, that's your beginning stages. And then once you start getting into it and you start <laughs> hitting the reality of it, then you're like, oh, okay. So this is happening now. And this is really difficult. How am I, how am I going to get through this? How do I do this? You know, um, 
I think one of the main things was learning to work with a crew, a professional film crew mm -hmm. um, to, you know, when, once we got Washington's Armor, because I was used to doing things with our Capernaum staff, you know, <clears throat> in my comfort zone, I know these people, they can do this. And then we bring a few people in and teach us how to, you know, do stuff. and. And then um, I got a fully professional crew and it was just, they did things different than I did. And um, so I had to, <laughs> I had a lot yeah. to learn. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a collaboration yeah. process, big time. It, it, and it can be very difficult because you're stepping on each other's toes and there's a creative process and then there's a the frustration of production. I get all that. You, you keep mentioning Capernaum Studios and I think this is a, a good opportunity to show people what that is because that is, I think a part of the preparation for you to get here and also some great things going out there. This is a website. Uh, it's CapernaumVillage.com. And I've been out there several times. It's west of Fort Worth. Uh, and I don't have all the great pictures. You can, you can check out the website, um, CapernaumVillage.com. But it is a very cool facility that has grown now over the years. Uh, and and it, I took a picture out there one time uh, a couple years ago in the village which looks like uh you know middle eastern like bethlehem or something like that right um yeah. and and i said so i forget how what i posted but literally everybody believed that i was over there touring israel or something really? because <laughs> it looks i mean it sits, sits here in texas but it looks like you're somewhere else and now with with all of the, the stage facilities that you guys have added plus you've got some conference facilities that place is, has really grown. And tell us about some of the things that have gone on out there, because I know that there's a lot going on out there. Yeah, uh, it's exciting. Um, we started actually housing films um, in 2018. That's when our films really started coming, as was in 2018. We got a couple of films that, that year, Penitent Thief and um, uh, Assassin 33 AD, they came in and filmed there. And that was the first time that we've ever had like a big film. Mm -hmm. So that was also a learning experience. Um, a lot of fun. We love having them out. And God put that in my heart too. When I built um, Capernaum Studios was that filmmakers, other filmmakers would be able to come and use it and um, benefit from that. And then in 2019, we had the chosen out there. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of fun and, 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 huge learning experience too <laughs> so you know the the bigger it was it's like you're just you know trying to figure all this out while you're doing it but it's it's been great the lord the lord is faithful and if he tell, puts something in your heart it may take a while but you know like i said we're he's he's teaching us you know what we need to do to be able to handle stuff and so you know, you know what i love about that is that someone with little or no experience God brought the experts to you because mm -hmm. you were faithful in another vision. And I don't know if you saw how that would all tie together. Maybe you did, but I mean, that's pretty cool to, to bring them to your facility. And now you've got carte blanche to go in and learn. Uh, that that yeah. had to be very helpful. Oh, it was. Yeah. And talking to them and um, seeing how they did things and learning, you know, what you can do with a blue screen and, <laughs> you know, yeah. just, just all kinds of stuff. So it's, it was amazing. And even just how the film set operated, mm -hmm. um, you know, and just kind of, uh, it, it was, it was, it was great learning that, all that stuff. And then, you know, once you're actually doing it, you really learn it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm sure it, it wasn't perfect. How long did it take you to make Washington's armor from the, uh, let's, let's go back for, from, the first uh, draft of the script, let's let's just call that the beginning, until, you know, final cut. It took about three years. So um, we started in, in uh, 2019 and, and then, you know, and then we had the chosen there too. And mm -hmm. so we're, we're kind of doing both um, with our staff and everything, but but it did, it took a while. And then we had COVID in, in the middle of it. So that was super challenging, but you know, that was challenging for everybody. <laughs> so so did, we had to maneuver that. Did you, now the, the Chosen is crowdfunded. I think most people know that. Um, what, what did you end up doing to 
to be able to afford this kind of production, other than own the facilities where it's being shot, which helps. <laughs> right? <laughs> How did it really helped a lot. It really did help a lot. Um, we were able to do it a lot less expensive than we would have um, normally. So that was great. And, um, but, but yeah, we, we got some people that gave large donations mm -hmm. and then, um, we've also done a little bit of crowdfunding and we've gotten people that support us. So, and they support the cause and preserving history and mm -hmm. all that. So, all right. This is the website for the film right here. Washington's armor dot com washington's armor dot com again the film drops on february 21st uh and we'll tell you how you can see it um i'm curious tammy uh how are you with where the film is at and with the distribution that you've gotten um are you are you pleased with the outcome well yes um so what happened was i did an interview for epic times um with Joshua Phillips on the crossroads. Um, and this was, you know, I don't know, I guess a year ago or more. And once that interview came out, I got so, uh, such good response. Like a lot of people responded and really supported what we were doing. And, um, you know, was grateful that we're putting something out about George Washington since, you know, cause all of that was going on with pulling down the statues and the rioting and everything. And, and so just preserving our history and there's a lot of people that want to do that there's a lot of patriots out there and um and so in doing that um they came to me and they said hey we would really like to release you know release your show i said well i didn't even know y'all did movies <laughs> but um they're new you know they're pretty new and they're they're actually expanding their whole network and they are taking in movies and i think we'll be one of the first and they're doing um you know episodic and but they're mainly a news source you know truth and news and and so yeah, I just feel like that that's where the Lord wanted us. And so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we on will. <laughs> yeah, and, and for people that want to watch Washington's Armor, we'll give you a couple of places where you'll be able to see it. Uh, let's see. Let me get this one here. There's the website for Washington's Armor. And then, uh, so the Epic Times is called Epic TV. Uh, and it looks like this, and you go to epictimes.com, and you can click on the little TV thing. So they've got Epic TV, Epic Cinema. Um, that's one place you will be able to watch it on the 21st. Another one is called NTD, and uh, you know, like nancyteddavid.com, uh, and they will be streaming it as well. Uh, so there are a couple, couple of places to see it. Do you have any other plans for releasing it in the future for – where people can pick it up and see it either on demand or maybe do a screening in their church, something like that. Um, hopefully we can do that. We will, we'll know that shortly. Okay. So you're still working on some of those. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, so but yes. Check out the website, uh, Washington's armor to see more of that. Now, Tammy, I want to ask you, um, a, a question because there, you know, I hear a lot. I mean, there's like specials on Showtime or something about, you know, women in the business and in, in the film business and their struggles and things like that. Uh, I'm curious about, you know, you as a woman in the Christian film business, do you feel like there's some additional barriers or did God just open up things for you? Is that is that even a thing with you with with the Christian well, movie business? Um, I think it's been. You know, I haven't really been in it that much. Mm -hmm. You know, I've yeah. done what Washington's Armor is the main thing that I've done. But I do think that that I had to prove myself. And it, I think I would have had to prove myself, whether it was men or women or whoever. Yeah. But there is a lot more men on the on the film shoot. Um, but to prove myself that, you know, maybe I know a little bit of what I'm doing. Um, you no, know, I didn't know everything, and I did rely on a great crew to to help through that. But I knew I know the vision. I know what God wants me to do. I know the story, and I know um, what needs to be portrayed on film. Mm -hmm. So, as long as I could get that across to everybody, then I think you know it went pretty well. So, oh, well, good. I I hope that those barriers are 
really, really low or gone, you know, especially in the Christian world, because I think that's where, frankly, we should be the leaders in, in that kind of thing. You yeah. talk about the subject, the, knowing the material. Was there anything in the story that you learned um, that maybe surprised you or that was, will surprise viewers that you're okay to give away with before they actually see it? <laughs> I don't want any spoilers. Yeah. Um, gosh, I learned so much. Um, you know, there's there's the things that I learned about George Washington that that people always say, you know, the cherry tree thing that w- that was not that was actually fiction. Um, but the the thing behind that is that he's a man of truth. And so, you know, that's kind of true. Then I, I learned um, a little bit more about his character. Oh, this is really interesting. I learned that he was sick all the time. He had various things like malaria. He had types of diseases that can kill you, (laughs) but he survived all these. He had malaria more than once. He had tuberculosis. Um, He had smallpox. He had um, other just, you know, fevers and, and types of infections and whatnot. And, you know, God protected him through those as well. And the interesting thing is he even went to battle on the Battle of Monongahela, which will be in volume three. He went to battle when he was sick with uh, some kind of high fever. And can you imagine? I mean, I just want to lay in bed. I don't want to do anything yeah. if I'm sick. I, but he I, had to go fight a battle. So I, th- I think the important question was, did he wear a mask? Because that's really <laughs> all, that's all, all that matters right now. All right. Well, all okay. Right. So you mentioned uh, the trilogy. Um, where are you on the next two films? So we have um, the scripts almost finished for two and three, volume two and three. We've also actually filmed a few scenes already in volume two and three. So there's not a whole lot that has to be done to get those two two volumes finished. But we have to get to volume three because that's the most you know miraculous part of the story, in my opinion. It's um, it's really amazing because that's the one with the bullet holes in the jacket and all that. Oh and I know I'm like, I don't want to give anything away either, but, and then I think, well, it is history, but, but then I don't want to, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, <laughs> I, it, you, but you know, it, like Titanic was a popular movie and we all knew the ship was going down. So it, it's okay. It's just actually getting to see it is, is a part of the enjoyment. Um, for people that maybe want to support what you're doing, um, support the film, support the future films, support Christian movies and truth and history in general. Is there any outlet associated with what you're doing that people can go to support what you're doing? Um, They can go to WashingtonsArmor.com, the website, and they can donate on there. And um, yeah, that's, that would be, that would be awesome so that we can hurry and shoot these next two volumes. Wonderful. And one, one really depicts, you know, his journey. He his first military commission, and he went on the journey um, to the French fort to deliver a letter to tell them to vacate the land because the English and the French were, you know, fighting for the land at that time. And so that journey, God miraculously saved his life, hmm. you know, several times. So, so it's really cool. It's a really cool story. And then we also put in the romance with. Martha and you know you get to kind of see that and and so it's got a little bit of everything awesome I love it I love it I, I love history uh, and I love the the uh, cinematic you know depiction of it because it's a lot easier to digest than reading a book sometimes uh, and I love the fact that you did it out of a vision uh, did the hard work to get to the point you're at now uh and can encourage others what what's in the future for tammy lane other than these films do you think well we're still going to be doing a lot of things at capernaum we've got uh the film conference um coming up content 22 is coming up at capernaum and that's going to be the first week in march so we're excited about that having everybody out and just continuing to have film, other filmmakers come out to Capernaum and, and, and do their projects and supporting them. Um, and that's pretty much, 
kind of what we're going to be doing. Hopefully we're going to be doing some um, more tours at Capernaum to allow people to come out and do some, some fun stuff out there. So great. And if you're, if you are a filmmaker uh, or, and I say filmmaker, the way things have gone, that that could mean a series that's on a, a streaming platform or on, it can be YouTube these days. Right. Um, the content 22 is a conference at, at Capernaum that's coming up. I will be there uh march first week of march um it, i think if you google content 22 especially if you throw capernaum in there you'll get to i think capernaum studio or capernaumvillage.com you can get a link to that but if you can't find it you can always email me here at live today and i can put you straight in touch with it so it's a great gathering of christian filmmakers i've met a lot of really interesting people uh producers directors actors uh out there so i'm looking forward to that so that's for a little inside business anybody that is uh, in the business or maybe like Tammy, you feel like you're called. Um, I'm guessing though that Tammy through this experience, there's a, there's a, a personal confidence that God's instilled in you. What would you say to someone who maybe has a calling and it doesn't have to be related to movies at all. Maybe to build a a, a school, you know, or to start Mm -hmm. something in their church. What would you say to someone who thinks that they're being called to do something but like you, they're like, I don't have the resources. I don't have the experience. I don't know where to go. What do they need to know? They need to know that, that they need to just trust the Lord and God will provide. He provides for the people that he calls. And you don't, and, and he does things in ways that you would never expect. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, oh, I didn't see it. Like, I didn't see, think it was going to be like that, but but then, but he does, and he supplies that need. And it doesn't mean that you don't have to work at it. Mm-hmm. You still have to work at it, but, but he will, he will be there. And if he called you to do it, he will supply what you need and bring the people that you need. That's, okay. and that's, that's true. Very, that's key because you've got to have other people to yeah. do it. You know, he wants his church, his body to work together. So that is an excellent point. Tammy, I appreciate you. Appreciate the work you're doing, and uh, sharing what, you know what all's going on in your life, personally and professionally. And we look forward to February 21st when we can see Washington's armor. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Randy. Enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, watching, talking. Check out the film. Check out the websites, and uh, come back. We got more great interviews with for you all this week and next week. I've got I some really good stuff, by the way, and the week after. So you just have to keep coming back. We'll see you again no next time on Life Today. No longer will I rely upon my goodness, upon my personality. But Lord, I just come as a bankrupt sinner, saying, Lord, have mercy on me.